something touched my foot. I swear. I don't know. It, it felt like a snake or a fish. Hey, what's up guys? Jake here. Today I traveled down to a spot called the Peace River located in Florida. I'm teaming up with my buddy Paleo Chris and a few other friends, and these are all guys that are experts in the field of fossil hunting. Today we're going to be looking for fossilized shark teeth and other fossils while scuba diving, but it is very sketchy to dive here because last time I came here, my friend Henry actually got attacked by an alligator. He was rushed to the hospital and everything was fine. He didn't lose any limbs or anything like that, but it's just so scary, man. I don't know how in the world they got me back out here, man. But we have the boat here. Rick was kind enough to actually let us borrow the boat today. Hopefully we can find some shark teeth. Some of these shark teeth can get bigger than my hand, and I'm so excited to see if I can come across one of those today. So this spot is super murky, super scary. I'm gonna bring you guys along the adventure, and hopefully we find some great fossilized shark teeth. I had a second to think about things. I have like some of the most awesome friends, dude. Like I was up in South Carolina teaming up with Brian. He's an expert in the field of crystal hunting. I'm down here teaming up with Paleo Chris and all the other guys, and they're experts in the fields of fossil hunting. It's just such a diverse community with YouTube and all these friends, and I'm so excited to get started. So we've got Trish's truck right over here. I've got my truck here, but Rick was kind enough, like I said, to lend us his boat today. Uh, it's actually the first time I've ever seen a boat like this. Check out the motor on that thing. It's super long. I guess it's made to get super shallow, but it's going to be a great tool to get us from spot to spot. I've been fossil hunting my whole life. The reason this place is so exciting is because you get awesome megalodon shark teeth and other cool fossils like that here, but you also get the terrestrial mammal fossils like mammoth, mastodon, giant ground sloth, and other cool things that were roaming in Florida back then. So we're going to get this boat in the water and we're going to get to it. All right, so we got the boat in the water, almost ready to get started. Now we have to put our wetsuits on because the water's freezing cold, and then we'll hop in the boat, go upstream, and then we'll start diving for some nice fossils. Oh my God, there's a gator! There's a gator! There's gators! Let's get them! This is not smart. We literally just saw two gators like on the bank, and we're like two minutes from where you guys are gonna be diving. <laughs> We'll be fine. What do you think, Chris? We'll I don't know about that. That's two gators in five minutes. <laughs> meters <laughs> we've already seen a handful of alligators today some small ones some pretty nice sized ones and last time I came here I had no preparation of uh, what to do you know other than just scuba dive so after Henry got bit I did some research I was like all right I need to do something else so I brought some firecrackers check it out my theory here is to light the firecracker throw it in the water and scare away any alligators so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm probably gonna throw a handful of these in there so here's one there we go check it out all right, so it exploded on the water. I'm about to throw maybe 500 more, <laughs> and then we'll hop in and see what All right, the firecrackers either worked or it attracted more of them, and we won't know until we get in there. So, uh, Chris, you're gonna be right next to me. <laughs> Let's do this. Got all my gear on, I've got my light, I've got my shark tooth bag, got the scuba tank on my back. I think we're ready to hop in the water. I've been dredging this, but it should be fine.
girlfriend just pointed out a gator back there <laughs> we got out just in time but we're going back in so i found a hubble shark tooth it's called a hubble i guess meg tooth but um that's freaking beautiful it's probably my favorite one so far we found a giant uh tiger shark tooth right here and then that right there what's that called again that's no, a uh, uh, snaggle tooth snaggle tooth and then a uh, broken piece of something there but dude this has been so much fun that is definitely my favorite shark tooth i've ever found i think so far it's pretty cool Let's get back in there. We're over here trying to figure out our game plan because we saw an alligator literally five feet from the bank. We're like, should we go behind it or should we go further up? There, there's no not getting out. <laughs> All right, let's come on, Chris. <laughs> you see how I'm positioning myself in front of Chris because it's back there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here's some of uh, Chris's and I's shark teeth. Uh, the biggest shark teeth of the day was definitely this one that Chris found. And I would have to say my favorite shark tooth of the day is this one right here. I believe they call this a Hubble Megalodon shark tooth, which is more of a rare version of the, I guess, the Megalodon shark tooth. And uh, I guess to give you guys a size reference, here's my hand and here's some of the shark teeth. But yeah, it's my favorite one. I found a fossilized clam and I believe a fossil to a camel potentially. 
And, uh, I mean, overall, man, we just had a good time. Found some cool things down there. And we didn't die, so that's great. <laughs> what, what did you get over here, Chris? Uh, What's some so of your favorites? Megalodon shark teeth up here. Mostly yep. juveniles. Um, we have Mako's snaggletooth shark teeth. Uh, more Mako's. This here is part of the uh, body armor to a giant armadillo-like animal called wow. a Glyptodon. That's crazy. I love those. How old are all these fossils? Well, the, this is newer than all of these, but these would be five to ten million years old, and that could be as young as ten thousand. Wow. I would say shark tooth hunting is one of my favorite things to do, man. I had so much fun here. You know, there's a little bit of danger involved, but it was just a ton of fun to find shark teeth. I want to give a special thanks to Rick for allowing us to use the boat. Rick, thank you so much. If you guys want to check out more shark tooth hunting videos or fossil hunting or even arrowhead hunting videos, make sure you guys head over to Rick's YouTube channel. Tell him Jake sent you. I'm going to have everyone's links in the description box below. Chris and I, we tag team a lot today and we had so much fun. We found a lot of cool things down there. If you want to check out his finds, I'll also put his video that he made today in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. And uh, what's cool about all the stuff we found today is that it's all going to be donated to a museum. So it's for a good cause. Kids are going to learn. Everyone's going to learn more about all the cool stuff we found. Uh, I didn't just collect just the shark teeth. We collected all types of bones. So they're going to be able to do research, check it out, and just have a good time learning more about what we found today. But hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video and I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. So I just tied four of these together so I pretty much made a nuke check it out I'm about to scare everything in this area <laughs> they didn't go off <laughs> <laughs> all right Chris you go first in there. They no longer oh. on <laughs> well dang <Look> <laughs>